You're listening to the Popoto Pub Final Fantasy XIV podcast with your host, Popo Jagaimo. I was always that person that was that. like, <laughs> I was always that person in Warcraft that was like, why do you need personal housing? Like personal housing's dumb. And then all of a sudden, like I get here and I'm like, <laughs> I must buy a house and I must engage in savage housing to get my house here. And I haven't got one yet. Yeah. I've got my apartment and my, my FC private chambers, but I don't have a, don't That's have a house cute. yet. So yeah oh so cool i love it because like i love my simulation games too like you know i grew up playing sims like animal crossing like stardew valley and stuff so having like that little bit of creativity and like the housings and everything like that gets me so excited well, it's so good like i honestly feel like final fantasy is the mmo like made specifically for me well, i think it's one made for for everybody right like like i think yeah, the said like i'm greedy right like i want to please everybody and and I've got right. super high hopes and I, and I'm, I think I have to temper my expectations with like the Island adventures thing, like where it's like, you can have an Island to yourself and your pets can run around. And I'm like, that sounds a little too good to be true, but I'll hold out hope for yeah, it. I know. <laughs> but I'm so excited for that. Um, so good. it's wild though. Cause I think, I think the interesting thing is, is that, you know, I think about like how Yoshi P and, and his whole team, honestly, it's not just him. But like, think about like designing and creating new features. Like the one thing I think that's really unique about Final Fantasy too is that like everything is like evergreen, right? Like coils, like coils of Bahamut yeah. is is evergreen. Like you can go back and do coils exactly how it was when, or maybe not exactly. The the talents and skills have changed a little bit, but like you can do it almost exactly yeah. how it was back then. So every time they add something new, whether it be housing whether it be island adventures, whether it be like beast tribes, things like it, it's all relevant because there's story. There's even stories get to outdated. Yeah. There's stories yeah. to, to like rep grinds. I'm like, what? <laughs> um, I was so <laughs> invested in like the pixies rep rep grind in that whole story. Yeah, and I'm, I'm like, still doing mine. I'm like, what is going on it's here? Fun. Like, it's not just a bar you have to fill up so you can get your next enchant to be ready for raiding. Like, wow. Like, what yeah. is this? And that's been yeah, really building cool. Building Rep and Wow was so tedious and so boring. I remember I was doing it to get the uh, the new races. I can't even remember what they're called now. Allied the... races. Yeah, those, I did it to get those, and I was so boring. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it took so long, like building up my rep and stuff. It was just, but like building rep in Final Fantasy is like really easy and really it's quite quick to be honest. Like mm -hmm. in a way, like it's very straightforward. Like you have to you have to wait to like you know unlock the next three. Like there's a timer, but like I don't know. The thing about it, it just makes it really simple, and it's not really something that you have to spend like twelve hours in a day to like kind of do. You can just like spend it over time, and it's just like a lot more casual instead of just like fully grinding to get like max rep. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, that's, that's one thing that really surprised me is it like took me five minutes to do my Pixies dailies every day. And same with my, yeah, the quest is so quick. Yeah. Compared I, to I like, love that. Yeah. And I feel like that that's that, that's the design philosophy too, right? Is, is, I don't know. I'm, I'm probably putting words into Yoshi P and team's mouths, but, but at the same time, like it's, I think it's just about respecting people's time, right? Like they know that people don't yeah. want to spend 30 minutes rep grinding for like every day like they were like five minutes is fine. Like if you just rep grind for five minutes, yeah. like, and you do it every day, it's, it's time gated, but it's. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. I, I love that. And yeah, it's just so much better. And it, it's interesting too. Cause it's like, everything goes down from like gearing to like gearing. Isn't this constant rat race with RNG and making sure you've got the right conduits or the right legendary or anything like that. It's just like, here's what you get, yeah. work hard to get it. And once you get it, you're done. And, it, and it's yeah, pretty simple. Yeah. And then, you know, same thing with like, so it's like, then you can go and you can do housing and you can go and like watch a DJ play one night and just hang out and whatnot. Or you can go and grind your, your Pixies reps. Yeah. Like you can help your friends if you want to. I think one of the, yeah. the interesting things that one of my, one of my good friends said to me and, and he, he was, he was being really nice about it, but it was like a weird thing that was pressuring him there. He goes, now that I'm fully geared and everything, like I don't have like any incentive to go back and do mythic plus. And I was like, yeah, but what about helping me catch up? And he's like, I just don't want to do it anymore. And I'm like, I feel you like, and here it's yeah. like just yesterday, like someone was like, I'm leveling this. I want to do that. And I'm like, okay, I'll help you out. Cause I, cause I don't have that yeah. pressure to keep up and that 
and need that like release to walk away. I can just do what I want to do. And that's, that's yeah. an amazing feeling. I think that's something that really surprised me as well. Um, I remember like when I finally unlocked like Eden Savages, like my, my group decided to just try out E9S and we were missing like one person. So we just like put it in Party Finder and we literally had someone come in and like just want to help. Like they, they had done it before and they were just bored and they're just like looking through Party Finder and they're like, oh, I'll come to help. Like, and I was just so shocked. I'm like, you really want to help us? Like there's only like two other people in our group that had like completed it before. All of us were just like complete noobs, like no idea what's going on. But it was just like so lovely that people want to go back and like do this really hard content just mm -hmm. to help other people, you know, it's crazy. Well, it's because the, the fights are fun. I, I, that's one thing that I found. I mean, yeah, no, they're they're really fun. They are, they are. Hundred percent. I don't know. How do you how do you feel about this? So so I've been thinking about like the whole like non add on type of perspective with Final Fantasy, and you know, being someone like who had like deadly boss mods and and big wigs and and weak auras and all this stuff. Like, it's really yeah. nice to just not have to worry about all that and to just like visually learn. I don't know if you've felt that same way. Yeah. No, definitely. I mean, it's a bigger learning curve because like, I, I had a lot of WoW add-ons as well where it literally told me what was about to happen and I could just like run the opposite, <laughs> opposite way. You know what I mean? It's like, you know, this is going to happen. And I'm like, okay, cool. I go over here now. Like it was really just kind of basic. And like to go to having like all of that, to having like nothing in Final Fantasy, like the learning curve is a lot more fun. And I guess that again is a lot more rewarding because like these fights like can take so long to like complete and a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of communication communication like i know like there's still stuff like that in wow but um just not having those add-ons just makes it even more so like rewarding i guess definitely more rewarding thanks for listening to this episode of the popoto pub please remember to like comment and subscribe for more episodes take care everyone and peace out <laughs> <laughs>